was to consume. Science shows that the lower omega-6 levels of fatty acids in the type of meats that the Holy Quran allows Muslims to eat lead to a healthier diet. Over 1400 years ago, the Holy Quran was already mentioning the health qualities of perirenal fat, shellfish, rabbit, ostrich and camel, and also stated that as a firm punishment, Jews were not allowed to eat foods that contain this type of meat or this type of fat. The Holy Quran says in chapter 4, verse 160, we made unlawful for them, we deprived the Jews from certain good foods which had been lawful for them before because of the injustice which they had committed and because of their much hindering from the path of God. All right, peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and download the video and share it. After we finish this video, I'm going to post a link to show you how you can download my videos from Facebook very easy and you can share them in your page or in your YouTube. Now, here the Muslims trying to tell you that Quran is leading us to use omega-6. So, because this is very healthy and she is quoting like a hundred scientists. And all of us to talk about Quran leading us to eat omega-6. And the verse she is using for us is the same verse we will use to debunk their false argument. So, please listen carefully and learn learn how to debunk the stupidity of islam and how the muslim tried to fool you i will play a little bit back so you can follow up with the topic she is saying and we will reach this verse again and we will stop it let us see But ostrich and camel and also stated that as a firm punishment jews were not allowed to eat foods that contain this type of meat or this type of fat the Holy Quran says in chapter 4, verse 160, We made unlawful for them, we deprived the Jews from certain good foods which had been lawful for them before because of the injustice which they had committed and because of their much hindering from the path of God, Allah's way. In chapter 6, verse 146, the Holy Quran also says, We, God, forbade them, the Jews, the fat of the cattle and the sheep, except that which is carried on their backs or in the viscera or mixed with bones. This was a punishment we gave them on account of their rebellion. When we look at the facts, it's quite clear Jews and Muslims are forbidden from eating pork. But amazingly, Jews are also forbidden by the Torah from eating certain healthy foods, which they name not kosher, such as rabbit, ostrich, camel, shellfish, and... Now we will show you how stupid what she just said. <clears throat> the Quran, in the verse she quote for us, if we go back here, read carefully foods that contain this type of meat or this type of fat. The Holy Quran says in chapter 4, verse 160, We made unlawful for them, we deprived the Jews from certain good foods which had been lawful for them before because of the injustice which they had committed and because of their much hindering from the path of God, Allah's way. In chapter 6... All right, hold on. She is claiming that the list of the food which is in the list here, or let us say in this verse, is different from the verse where the Muslims are allowed to eat certain food, which is absolutely a big fat lie. You see, the, the verse here is saying, we made unlawful for them, we uh, divert them from certain good food, which had been lawful for them before. Now, can the Quran and can this woman tell us what is the lawful for, uh, food was lawful for them before? She have no answer. Now, the whole point is, she is trying to say that camel meat and rabbit meat is healthy. You can go right now and search, you will find it is totally the opposite. And this verse have nothing to do with her claim. If we go right now and see the interpretation for the verse, let us see what the verse is saying. Uh, again, remember, this is, just to show you, we are quoting the exact verse, we are not making our own, all right? Chapter 4, verse number 160. <clears throat> Hold on. 4, 160. You know, always I find the Muslims very funny uh, uh, and uh, kind of hilarious when they try to make the Quran a book of science, when the Quran is a joke. Uh, 
let us do this we go to the verse <coughs> I'm trying to make my those videos are short later we would do longer video uh, but those are short so you can uh, can uh, you can download them you know all right فبظلم من من الذين هادوا حرمنا حرمنا عليهم طيبات احلت لهم etc so chapter 4 verse number 160 it says that because they were unjust, we forbid them from the unlawful uh, the food which was lawful for them before. Uh, does the Quran speak about rabbit? Nowhere is speaking about that. Nowhere. Now, if we try to find from the Muslims' interpretation what was what became unlawful for the Jews and what became lawful for the Muslims, we can go and see the interpretation. However, I'm not going to waste my time and go with the Muslims trying to look for Omega 6 in their Quran when the Quran actually proven to us that this is a stupid book for you can go right now and search and you will find that the meat of the rabbit is very harmful one of the reason the meat of the rabbit is very harmful because the rabbit rechew doesn't have like a good stabilism system so it's rechew its own food again which means it, it, it do poo poo and then that poopoo have two kind, and that uh, uh, poopoo is the is to to throw away in garbage and poopoo to re-eat. However, there is videos in YouTube made by scientists explain to you how this process happen. Uh, let me let me find you something just to show you how we can debunk easy. They use science to talk about, uh, uh, you know, uh, omega six, but omega six exists in many meat, exists in many food. And the funny, even the Quran is encouraging you to eat to eat uh, seafood, and supposedly she is saying that, but I could not really uh, find uh, uh, what she is talking about. If we go in YouTube and we try to find some scientific videos, we will find many. <coughs> Now, for sure, you might find some people saying to you, you know, rabbit food is very tasty, etc. Let us see. All right. I'm not going to play the video because you know some videos uh, they have copyright but we can you know we can play short of it just to show you why eating meat generally is poison for you but we want to find something speaking about poison uh, here is the Muslim is asking is it a principle to eat me uh, rabbit meat I'm not going to play that <clears throat> Uh, and then now we find uh, because I don't want to play just uh, you know uh, just any video okay hold on Maybe it's better we find an article. You see, I'm not even preparing for this. Why I do? I'm searching for this. All right. You can search. You can search in you know like. Uh, by yourself and you will find there is many uh, uh, articles speaking about rabbit meat and uh, you know what it is what is the bad about it and what is the good about it uh, I, I'm not a scientist I don't claim to be a person who knows science uh, but my job here to show you that what the Quran is saying have nothing to do with this because 
the Quran saying that Allah he forbid the Jews from drinking what is good or eating what is good as a punishment now the Quran if this is the case as she said in the video why Allah did not forbid the Jews uh, sorry this is wrong video here why Allah did not forget the Jews from eating beef or eating uh, uh, why Allah uh, did not punish the Jews by eating pork she said we forbid them only from eating the good food but we don't find any proof of that because the the the, the good food for Allah is all the food and Muhammad he did not eat certain food for a reason as an example why Muhammad did not eat the pork because the Quran says that the Jews Allah he you know he transformed them into pigs there's a video made by a guy Muslim guy and uh, uh, he said in his video uh, that if you eat a swine you are eating a Jew and this is coming from the Quran because the Quran confirmed that why we cannot eat swine Doctor, okay, let's see. <clears throat> I will try to find the video. Uh, Sometimes it's hard to find what what. Uh, uh, here we go. Actually, she have a video of herself speaking about it. Now oh, this is the same video. Yeah, I made a, I made a video about it before. This is a this is a guy. All those Muslims speaking about eating swine. Why Allah forbid the eating swine? But the main reason for forbidding eating swine uh, is uh, if you eat a swine, you are eating a Jew. All right. Look like it's very hard to find what you are looking for when you need it. All right. Let's change the title. Maybe we can find it. <clears throat> yeah, look like we are having a hard time. Maybe they flag it and they take it down. That's why I ask uh, people to uh, to download the videos and share it with their friends. Anyway, we can go to the Quran. Maybe that's better. So we will not waste our time. The Quran says that Allah he transformed the Jews into pigs and monkeys and that is why the Muslims cannot eat pigs the verse in the front of us here chapter 2 verse number 65 contradicting other verse saying here that Allah he made them only as monkeys and this is a very stupid argument too and the, funny the Muslim they speak about science but yet they are trying to confirm to us that we used to be human and then we became monkeys when the atheists try to, do, to prove the opposite they say we used to be monkeys and we became a human now uh, here let us see <clears throat> Let us see. Here we go. Chapter 5, verse number 60. It says that Allah He punished the Jews and He made them transform them into apes and a swine actually it is monkey exactly not you know you can use apes but it's monkey this is the correct Arabic word so this is one of the reason to forbid the Muslims from eating you know swine and we will prove that to you from the mouth of Muhammad that this is the only reason why he don't want to eat certain kind of food for he think those are Jews if we go in the hadith We will find <clears throat> let us go take this.
Let's see, we can search for it in English. Why Muhammad refused to eat as an example lizard? The reason for him he refused to eat it because he believed that the lizard him they might be a, a, a kind of Jew who Allah transformed them into lizard. Read with me here carefully, you will find the following. We were in army with the messenger of Allah and we got some lizard. I roasted one lizard and brought brought it to it to him uh, and placed it before him. He took a stick and counted its fingers fingers huh? he then said a group of the children from the children of Israel where was it transformed into an animal of the land and I do not know which animal it was he did not eat it nor forbid it so Muhammad here he refused to eat it because he is not sure if this animal he was he, he is suspicious suspicious about about this animal that he might be from the Jews therefore he will not eat this animal the Muslim they try to make it about omega 6 and omega 8 and omega 12 and omega whatever when when all of the story is based on a stupid fiction Muhammad he created that the Jews Allah transformed them into apes and monkeys and pigs and maybe lizard and, and actually in different hadith he says uh, uh, he suspect that they are rats and but the Muslims they try to make it about something totally different proving to us that again and again Muslims they are out of line out of any kind of logic trying to divert the true meaning from what Muhammad and Islam teach to make it about science if we read here and here we will see the stupidity of Muhammad and what they call science to be very stupid science because if Muhammad is a person from of science how in the world he believe that lizard he was a Jew and how the rat he was a Jew read with me carefully the Prophet said a group of the Israeli were lost nobody knows what they did but I do not see them except they were cursed and changed into rats for it you put the milk of the she camel in front of a rat it will not drink it but if the milk of a sheep you put it in front of it it will drink it so Muhammad is comparing between the food what the rat eat and what the Jews eat the Jews they forbid eating or drinking the she camel and the rat they don't like it so Muhammad come with the smart amazing scientific conclusion that the rat they might be a Jew then we can make the same conclusion donkeys drink don't drink whiskey Muslims don't drink whiskey obviously the donkeys are Muslims too however we can prove that Muhammad he believed that it's very possible that you were to be a Muslim and you transfer into a donkey if we go in the hadith here we will find the following I'm just trying uh, uh, to show you the science of Islam and how the Muslim try to make a, a guy who is mad a scientist it's very possible for you to be a Muslim and a donkey and Muhammad proved that look what Muhammad he said look like Muhammad he believes strongly that his God always transform people into animals even the Muslims look what he says Muhammad SAWS said does the one who raises his head before the Imam okay not fear that Allah may turn his head into the head of a donkey so it's very clear that you and this is why Muhammad he forbid them from eating uh, the meat of donkey too you cannot eat a donkey because he might be he might be transformed into uh, um, he might be a Muslim who transformed because he raised his head before Allah now uh, the donkey here Muhammad he, he threatened the Muslims that Allah will make them a donkey uh, 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 because obviously he's trying to scare the hell of them so they will not uh, raise their head before he finished the prayer and because they don't want them maybe to see how many errors he cannot even repeat the, the, the prayer accurately because he's just creating something so in the videos of Muslims they made it from a verse about the Quran speak about nothing about science it's about Allah punishing somebody to make it about Omega 6 and Omega uh, uh, benefit 
But is that true? Now we continue. If Muhammad was a person who teach us how to be good and how to be healthy, then how you explain to me the Prophet he ordered his followers to drink camel urine, which is very, it's an acid, very dangerous, can destroy your kidney. If we go <clears throat> here first, we see Muhammad used to eat without even washing his hands. Huh? But before that, we will see the following. Muhammad, not only teaching people not to be clean, he is enjoying it. He is making them wash with his leftover water, the one he washed his testicles with it. Read with me carefully. Allah Apostle come to us at noon, and water for ablution was brought for him. After he had performed ablution, do you know what ablution means? Go and check. He washed his hand, he washed his feet, he put water in his mouth and he spit it. He put water in his nose and he spit it. Uh, 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 he, he, you know, he washed every dirty place supposedly. And then the remaining water was taken by the people and they started smearing their body with it. Is that the health benefit? That somebody he clean his ass, he clean he clean his mouth, he clean his private part, he clean his foot, he clean his nose, he clean his mouth. What Muhammad was doing with this water? Yet the Muslims are fighting over his filthy water, and supposedly this is omega six, maybe. Let us continue. Just to show you how healthy to be a follower of Muhammad. Okay. Muhammad ordering the Muslim to drink camel urine. Here you will see that a group of people after they came and they convert to Islam, anyone convert to Islam, Muhammad right away, he ordered him to drink the milk of the camel and the urine of the milk. As medicine, you see Muhammad, he claimed urine as medicine. You can go right now and search how destroying to your kidney it is to drink urine because urine is a pure acid full of poison. So drinking urine is one method of Islam. This is why you can go and search right now and you will see it's a very popular. And actually United Nation, United Nation made a warning for Islamic countries not to drink camel urine because a lot of people dying. Let me find it for you. United Nation drinking camel urine. All right. Stop drinking camel urine. <laughs> world, the World Health. So, there's tons of warning, warning about you. If you drink camel urine, you are killing yourself. It's very bad. It's very dangerous. It's fitter, etc. But yet the Muslims, they are talking about omega-6. Can we find omega-6 in camel urine? And how come your prophet is making such a stupid statement that we should drink camel urine? That is another deception. The Muslim, they will not tell us why they are lying to us about eating healthy like a Muslim. Muhammad was not eating healthy and he did not know what healthy mean. If we go here, <clears throat> what about eating healthy like Muhammad here? Read with me carefully. Apostle of Allah, may peace upon him which means me Allah pray on him and salute him, came out of the bathroom after revealing himself. And the food was brought to him and he took it and he did not touch the water. So Mrs. Healthy and the Muslim who speak about eating healthy as a Muslim, do you encourage people after they go from the bathroom and touch their ass and clean themselves to go and eat without washing themselves? Is that how to eat healthy? Obviously, this is how it to eat healthy according to Muslims. We continue. Because as long as we are talking about eating healthy, let us see how healthy Muhammad was. You know, uh, I don't want to uh, forget to mention here Muhammad a crime he did, a crime of torture. After he ordered those people to drink camel urine, he did uh, uh, because they left Islam and ran away and supposedly they killed one shepherd. So he got them and then he put nails in their eyes and he cut their feet and he cut their their hands as you see i think this is a very healthy treatment 
according to Islam and proving that Muhammad is a prophet of mercy. We cannot forget to mention this crime Muhammad he did and how much he is watching horror movies. Actually, he is a founder of horror movies. When a Muslim he speak to me about terror, uh, uh, about uh, uh, eating healthy, we can quote for you tons of reference coming from Islamic books speaking about how Muhammad make people do crazy stuff. Uh, as an example, Muhammad used to have sex with all his wives without even washing, which means he wash at the end. And we know that this is very dangerous and can cause cancer to women and can you no know, can transmit many diseases because if a woman she have an infection in her private part he is carrying the disease from one to other Allah messenger would go around to his wives with one ghusl which means with one wash and look how the Muslim make the translation very short you know he have the messenger of Allah he used to have sexual intercourse with his wives with single bath. That's again a clear evidence that Muhammad was a very healthy man and he is the best to follow and to be healthy following his method of life. So when, when the Muslim they say how to eat healthy and how to be healthy and who is the best one to be healthy uh, according to is the teaching of the Prophet and the teaching of Allah. We find that this is absolutely stupid. Actually, Muhammad, he used even after, uh, you know, uh, uh, after he have intercourse, he used to dry his hand with the wall or even after he go to the bathroom. So you can imagine what, what kind of paint Muhammad he have in his bathroom wall. He don't even use a towel. He dry his hand in the bathroom. In, in the, in the bathroom. Or we can say his room because the bathroom it was his room if you remember a Muslim woman she drank the urine of the Prophet <clears throat> uh, let me find you the hadith and the Prophet he promised that women uh, that from now on she would never have pain <laughs> She will never have pain ever because she drank his 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 urine. Let us see. Um, I will try to find you the hadith. Omega six. Huh? So they they bring you a verse have nothing to do with what we are talking about. Look like this hadith will not be found here in English, but we will find it and try to find it in different place. All right. Let us try to find this hadith. The prophet he used to piss and he put his piss under his bed and that is telling us how much clean he is uh, however uh, we need to find you uh, the hadith about uh, the women who ate who drank his uh, piss if we cannot find it in English then we have no choice but to find it in Arabic that's fine, not a big deal. All right. This is the book. The book name is Al Bayhaqi, volume number uh, volume number seven. All right. And we will show you the page in the front of you. Page number 106. It says here, uh, let us see. Hadith number 49, or chapter, four, uh, let us say, part 49. Uh, uh, the Prophet. I've been taught by etc. etc. that the Prophet he used to put a dish full of his uh, of a piss. Uh, he pissed in it and he would he put it under his bed. And one day he came 
to to piss again in it, which means Muhammad he leave it there and piss. So he found the, the 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 dish is empty. And then he said to a woman, her name uh, uh, Baraka, she used to be his maid. Hmm? She be, she was the maid of Um uh, Um Habiba, which means is one of his wives. So he said to her, "Where is the piss? Where is the urine? Why? Where is my urine? The one it was here." She said, "I drank it. I drank it." In different hadith, let me show you. Muhammad he said, uh, "Bless your stomach. You will never your your belly will never suffer after that." Now Muhammad here and here you notice with me. Muhammad is a chicken and he is suspicious about where is the piss gone. It looked like the piss should stay there. Because is it normal that the, the servant or the slave he have, she is going to clean that dish? Like, should she keep it there? Why Muhammad is investigating? Where is my piss is gone? Do he sell it? Isn't it normal that the servant, she is going to take the piss of the prophet and throw it away? But look like Muhammad, he always have a concern about his piss, where it goes. So he wanted to know what she did with it. Where is my piss? Let me show you a different hadith. Let us see here, okay. I'm trying to find you the the other one where Muhammad he told the women that it's a blessing for you it is your your belly will not get hurt anymore and look here actually they are saying and this woman she used to be called Um Yusuf and she never get sick after that until she died Read with me carefully. This is your Muslim website, Muslims. قال, قالت شربته يا, شربته يا رسول الله وفي رواية عبد الرزاق ابن جريش قال صح يا أم يوسف He says good for you أم يوسف Health for you أم يوسف and The Prophet he said that And then it says And this woman she never gets sick after that Until she die So if you drink the urine of the Prophet Look like it's full of omega-6 so the Muslims, they made a video for us about how healthy to be a Muslim and to eat as a Muslim, but they will not tell you that being as a Muslim means to drink camel urine, to, uh, 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 to, to, to have sex without uh, uh, washing your hands, to come from the bathroom without washing your hands. Actually, according to the Muslims, that the, the, the Muslims, uh, even dogs used to come inside the, the mosque and the Muslim never cleaned the mosque after he pissed. You believe it or not? So to be healthy is to be healthy. is not only one thing, it's many things. And we could not find anything healthy about Muhammad. Actually, Muhammad, he used to be full of lies, as we know. How a man, he is healthy, and yet he is full of lies. Having lies all over your head is a very clear sign that he is a person who is suffering from a health problem. He don't clean himself, obviously. So, why the Muslim they want to lie to us about eating omega when the Quran never mentioned that? Why Muslims speak about science when the Quran is the opposite side of science? Can you prove to me that the Jews transform into rats? Even Muhammad, he forbid the Muslims from killing uh, uh, lice because he believed that they are good and Muhammad he uh, 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 he claimed that Allah he sent lice as a test for the prophets if we go in different hadith we will find this which mean lice are messengers of God uh, let us see uh, for some reason this hadith here 
אוקיי, מה השאר על MBA? Let us see. מה השאר? Uh, for some reason it's not coming but this is a very well-known hadith actually um, and you will see the Muslims they were infected badly by do you see it all of this is about lies all of this about lies and Muhammad himself was infected by lies as you see here all those are stories about lies all right But I want to show you the hadith about Muhammad himself, full of lies. Let me find you the hadith, hold on. Let us see. Here we go. This is a hadith where a woman, her name is Ummu Haram. When the Prophet, he visit her, he, he put his head in her lap. And what she do? She take, she, you know, she feed him. He lay down in her, in, her, in her lap. And what she do after that? She sit and she uh, take, her, uh, the, take the, the lies from his, his hair. Look what here it says. The louse his hair. But the fact it's about, I look like my, uh, uh oh. <clears throat> All right, good. My mouse is out of battery, but I have another, I have a backup. Uh, the woman, she was taking the lies from the hair of the Prophet. But let me show, show you. more clear hadith because Muslims always in the translation look here here it says clearly she is cleaning his head from what read with me carefully she said to clearing his head of lies now omega 6 and omega 12 the Muslims trying to put it in the Quran but we will find that this man he was a very unhealthy creature he was a very dirty person he is full of lies and it was a normal thing for them to be full of lies and lies my friends is something happens spread because people don't take shower if you take a shower every day lies will not have a chance if you wash yourself every day if you clean yourself every day if your house is a clean lies have no place to stay in a body of a person who is clean only in people who don't clean themselves lies they will come and they will enjoy their vacation there so why they are saying to us be healthy like a Muslim if Muhammad himself was suffering from hundreds and, and thousands of issues Muhammad not only was not healthy in food he was not healthy mentally and is that because he was eating omega-6 Muslims the one you claim that it is in the Quran the, the Muslims in their books claim that Muhammad he was imagining himself having sex but in fact he is not having sex why they say that the prophet was having this problem because simply 
he was, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, infected with the black magic. Now, all of us, we knew that this is uh, this is garbage. I mean, who in the world is going to believe in this? Uh, this new mouse is not functioning correctly. Let's see. Hold on. All right. Read carefully with me. The prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he has slept with his wives. In fact, he did not have sexual intercourse. So Muhammad is infected with an illness. Is that because he was eating omega-6 and eating rabbit food? Where is the prophet was eating rabbit anyway? And maybe because he was eating the camel. And maybe because he was eating all the healthy food in the world, so that the point he became a person who is suffering from illusion to the point he cannot recognize if he is having sex for real, it was or it was false. And the Muslim they claim that that this is was because of a magic, and Allah He sent two angels, and one of them sit in the top of his head, and the other one hold his toes and hold you know from his feet, and then they said, What's wrong with this man? The guy, the angel said, He is under the effect of magic. For me, I think maybe he was eating too much omega-6. Otherwise, those who made the videos about be healthy as a Muslim, can you explain to me what is the connection between omega-6 and magic? As long you Muslims speak about science, I'm trying to find the science in your religion. So what the Muslims do, and we prove it to you, they try to imply or to apply sex, uh, sorry, uh, science, on Muhammad, when the fact Muhammad, his science involved a sexual fantasy and illusion. They take a verse from the Quran, says Allah, he forbid the Jews from eating certain food as a punishment. And that food is good. All right. This is what they say to you. But the Jews until now, they are forbidden to eat pork. So if Allah, he want, according to their video, he, Allah, he want them only to eat the bad food and he forbid them from eating the good food. Do we have omega-6 in pork? Omega-6 can be found in every single meat. It it's, exists everywhere. Uh, let us see. You see, I'm not a scientist again. But as I know, that this is the fiction the Muslims they try to do is sometimes is, is, is really an ama amazing. Here we go. I'm going to find a scientific website speaking about the ratio of omega-6 in all kinds of food. Let us see. Let us see. I'm trying to try and I'm trying to, I want to find just uh, like uh, uh, something have to do with pork and uh, beef as an example. Let us see. I found meat from China. I don't want to go there. Okay, let us see. Let us do this. You know, we don't want to take it forever. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Anyway, you can do the search yourself. You don't need to wait for me. You will find that all kind of meat have uh, omega uh, uh, five and omega six and omega three. I have nothing to do with uh, with certain kind of food. This is a joke. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure absolute does. Uh, of omega-6 is lower per unit uh, fat from my pork than my etc. pork blah, 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 blah. I'm trying just to find something easy for us to read as people who they are not uh, specialists in this uh, in this scenario uh, anyway uh, you can go and search yourself and you will find that all kind of animals they have omega and they have different percentage of it so what they say in the video is absolutely false absolutely stupid they try to mix between science and what islam is talking about and islam never mentioned what is called omega-6 what islam is speaking about that allah he forbid the jews from eating the good food which means pork is a good food too for the jews still enter now are forbidden from eating the good food which is as she claimed but because they are so desperate they try to make it about the holy science. quran says in chapter 4 verse 160 we made unlawful for them we deprived the jews from certain good foods which had been lawful for them before because of the injustice which they had committed and because of their much hindering from the so the good food is what the Jews are forbidden from eating but the Jews are still forbidden from eating pork so is that mean that Allah claiming that the, 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 the pork is a good food the Muslims in different video they will say to you they will explain to you why we should not eat pork which is nothing but a copy from the Jews anyway so look how they lie and look how they make something they divert the meaning from something to something Allah did not forbid the Jews are you saying to me that Allah is trying to kill the Jews and make them eat poison food prove it what if the food the Jews they eat is poison actually you Muslims is the one who eat poison food to the point Muhammad he made you drink literally poison which is urine for urine is nothing but poison I challenge the Muslim to drink urine every day go and buy camel urine why you want to go as long the urine is a medicine for you why you go and buy medicine made by the western by the infidels why you don't make number one muhammad he mentioned two kind of medicine for the muslims honey and urine what about we keep our islamic tradition and we drink camel urine and honey and you do not need the western you do not need anything the, the western they came with this is how funny those people are and how they try to play with you and to fool you. Now, I'm going to finish this video. We will be back about two hours from now. Actually, uh, about yeah, about two hours, uh, 4, 4.30. We will be back and we will have a longer broadcast, you know, exposing the lies those Muslims they come with. Please tell your friends about our live broadcast here. As you see, not many people knows that we are here. Actually, so, suppose in this video, I should have make it uh, like uh, shorter. But we know uh, the topic took us to talk about more and more stuff and to expose the lies they come always with. Muslims, how in the world you made this is about Omega-6? I mean, how in the world Omega-6? When you just told us that Allah forbid the Jews and you see guys here they say from certain good food certain good food where is it says the certain good food <laughs> in chapter 4 verse 160 it says certain good food are you sure huh hmm? are you sure mm, okay yeah let us see certain good food I like it I like it when the Muslims they try their best you know it's it's uh, it's amazing it is it is uh, it is funny uh, but I believe it's not the fault of the Muslims it is the fault that not all of us is educated about this cult and not all of us know how to refute them 
and they can mix uh, science with fiction and they can say whatever they want and who of you really how many how many people really there are uh, out there they are willing to expose this cult uh, if we go here <clears throat> I will show you on the screen in a second hold on All right. You see, in the translation they put for us in the video, they fabricate and they lie and they say, they say, they added the word certain. I am going to go to an Islamic website and I will show you from their website how the word certain is added. Hold on. certain huh? let us see how certain it is very certain we go in the Quran this is Quran complex have a lot of translation Let us switch to Arabic. All right. We will zoom in so you guys can have a better vision. All right. Here there's many places giving us interpretation, but let us see first a verse. Chapter 16, verse number 18, this woman she did not mention. Let us read it first here. We have forbidden the Jews. We have already told you what we have forbidden the Jews. We did not wrong them. They wronged themselves. So already we told you what we forbid the Jews. But what we forbid the Jews, that can be found. Let us see. Ibn Kathir, some food were made unlawful for the Jews because of their injustice. So the food was forbidden for them for being injustice. Now let us see what food they are forbidden from eating. Let us see. Muhammad said, all the food was lawful for the children of Israel, except what Israel forbid his, his self from eating. Now look at this contradiction. They said that all the food was forbidden by Allah as a punishment. But here it says that Israel, which is a prophet of God, and he is not a person who transgress against God, as the Quran always describe him. So what the Jews have as forbidden is what he himself he forbid in himself. Read carefully with me. Let me find you the hadith in English. In, in English. Let us see. Uh, I cannot find it here in English. Anyway, let us then let us continue in the in the translation of Ibn Kathir. Look what it says: All food was lawful to the children of Israel, except what Israel made law and lawful for himself before the Torah was revealed. Okay, hold on. Who is the one who said that? It was Muhammad himself. 
and Allah himself. All the food was lawful and the one who forbid that before even the Torah, it was Israel. All right. Now, as we know, we know that a person should not to make unlawful what is lawful. If you remember the chapter of the Quran, a chapter of a tahrim chapter number 66 verse number uh, one uh, it says that Allah he said to Muhammad when he forbid himself from having sex from uh, 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 from Mary the cooked right he forbid him he forbid himself from having sex with her because he was busted with his uh, by his wife uh, for having sex in the bed of the wife so he made an oath that he will never do that again and then Allah he supposed he made a verse for him he says why you are forbidden what Allah made lawful for you so here we see a contradiction again in the Quran how Allah he says don't make lawful and lawful lawful and lawful and lawful which means don't forbid what is halal don't forbid what is kosher so now if here uh, Israel is forbidding himself from eating a kosher food but Allah he did not forbid him he is breaking the law of God but because the Muslims are naive they cannot even connect the dots together they did not see it it's clear in the front of our eyes uh, if we go in the Quran the same website Quran complex All right. Now the problem this uh, this website is showing us even the hadith. I don't want the hadith. Let us see how we can make it only for the Quran whole website. Okay, Quran. Ya ayyuhan nabi, chapter 66 verse number 1. O prophet, why you are forbidding for you what is made lawful? You see it? How come Allah did not make a chapter or a verse for Israel saying to him, Oh Israel, why you are forbidding for yourself what is made lawful? So the Quran claimed that what the one who made himself uh, the food is unlawful for the Jews is Israel is not Allah. And then when Allah, he sent the Torah, he confirmed what Israel, he ordered. But remember, Israel, he made that food forbidden for himself, not only for the Jews. And this is what the verses here is saying, or this is the interpretation. You see it? All food was lawful to the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for himself. So was Israel punished by God? Because the verses, the women she showed us in the, in the video, it says a clear words that this was a punishment for them being unjust. You see how funny they are? <laughs> and those Jews who are Jews, we forbid every animal with an divided hoof. And we forbid them from fat and ox and the sheep. Uh, except what adheres uh, uh, to their back of their uh, etc anyway so all of this supposedly is Allah is forbidding them from eating the good food what does that mean when few lines before it says that the one who forbid that it was Israel who forbid himself and all of us we know that Israel supposedly is a good guy according to the Quran and he is a prophet of God. Here it says, because they are unjust, we forbid them from eating that food. Now, why Allah then forbid them from eating the swine? If you are punishing them from eating the good food, why he allowed them to eat fish? Because this woman, she said, you can eat fish, and fish is full of omega-6. Why Allah is, if the purpose is omega-6, as we say, all the food the Jews they ate or they eat have omega-6. So the stupidity is amazing how they try to divert false and fiction 
and make it it is about science. From forbidding you from eating a rabbit, we try to claim that Allah is forbidding you from reaching out to omega-6. You can go right now and search what kind of food is full of omega-6 and omega-3 and omega-5. All food is full of all those things and they have different ratio. Very stupid, very naive. Uh, somebody telling me that the screen is not coming. Oh, sorry for that. Hold on. This is my mistake. That's my mistake. I apologize. Anyway, this is here what, what we were reading. It's in the front of you. All right. It says it clearly that Israel, he forbid himself All food was lawful for the children of Israel except what Israel made unlawful for himself before the Torah was revealed. We mentioned in this ayah before which means that all type of foods were allowed for the children of Israel before the Torah was revealed except camel meat, milk, and Israel forbid himself later. You see it? And this is before the Torah was revealed. It is a clear contradiction for the Quran. In the same time, it's a clear evidence that the Muslims are trying to fool you, trying to lie to you, says that Allah is not is punishing the Jews by not eating certain food, when the fact all of us we knew, and you can go and search, and you will find right away, go and search in, in YouTube about, uh, 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 you know, uh, rabbit, uh, wh wh why, why the Jews, they forbid themselves from eating rabbit. Go and search it. Uh, why the Jews are forbidden uh, forbidden from eating uh, pork? Go and search it. Uh, you know you can you can go and check yourself. However, all what the Jews were forbidden from having it was for their benefit. It was not against them. As an example, the pork. Uh, you know, in the time in in the, in the old days, the pigs used to go free and they eat anything. And and pigs they eat even dead bodies. People can, can get killed. Uh, war break between nations and pigs eat from whatever is in the ground dead bodies dead human dead animals and they can carry a lot of disease pork today is not the same as pork yesterday however still pork is not really healthy for a very simple reason pork don't sweat any animal don't sweat that's mean a high concentrated poison stay in their meat because they, can, they don't have a system to get rid of their poison the only system they have to get rid of their poison is their piss, but that is not enough. Because still, the the uh, 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 some of the poison is exist in your in your uh, in, in your meat. You know you cannot re get rid of uh, all of it. Sweating is one of the way to get rid of your poison. It's not only just because it cools you down. It's it one of the benefit of sweating is cooling you down. This is true, but it's still it's a way to get. This is why the sweat have a bad smell. For it is not really something healthy. Uh, why there is two spitting for Israel? Well, this is how the Muslim they pronounce it, you know. No problem. Because remember, in Arabic, when you pronounce a name to English, the English one actually is not the one is right. The English one is not the one is right for a very simple reason. Uh, you see, in English, you don't have all the letters, all the valves, or all, all the movement. So, uh, if I write a name which is exists in Arabic to English, I cannot make it correct. It's impossible. I have to guess. I have to make it to close by the sound. So here is not about being wrong. No, this is not about being mistaken in the in the writing. At least, uh, 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 as if we are talking about Arabic to English, not Hebrew. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I hope that we, we cover this uh, with this area. Yeah, the vowel movement and those things, you don't have them. Not only that, we have letters you don't have. As an example, we have in Arabic, it is Israel, you know. Israel, that means we have a letter like this. Oh, hold on. And there is a Hamza here. This is cannot be found in English. So how, what I'm going to do for you now. So what he do here, he put the letter I 
which is close to the sound and then he put something here to tell you that this is not exactly how it is you know there's a sound there all right and you will find that in my book like as an example if i say quran quran if you write the word quran in arabic uh, we cannot write it in english because in our in arabic we have letters are not cannot be found in english so what we do this is why when i write quran uh, in english you will notice i added this all right here before the letter a i added something small here why because here there's a letter a a you know quran a a quran it's not a only a so there is a let there is a letter here cannot appear because in english you don't have something equal all right uh, anyway we will be back after two hours and 15 minutes again to expose more of the lies which they try to fool us with please feel free to share the video i failed to make it short sorry for that i wanted to make it short but pff, it took me long uh, the topic it lead to each other and you know take you left and right however here is good and i think uh, uh, i posted the link before showing you there's a video on youtube i posted how to download my videos from uh, facebook it's very easy please watch the video there and the link is just underneath thank you very much for being with us and until i see you in two hours and 15 minutes from now may the lord bless you and keep you safe and enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend see you soon again bye bye thank you